everybody, Mr. G again. Uh, basically, I'm here with my buddy Ross. He's got an 87 C4 uh, convertible, and it died on him the other day. So the symptoms, basically it felt like he was running out of gas. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the pressure tester on it and see if uh, the fuel pump is actually working. So stay tuned. Hey folks, this is Mr. G and welcome to Just Corvette Crazy. On this channel we talk about Corvettes, we fix some Corvettes, and we love to drive our Corvettes. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks. So this is the Schrader valve. We're going to take the cap off. Probably a rag just in case there is some pressure there. I have it neatly down there. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, you just so air will come under there or fuel? Fuel. If there's fuel. If it's pressurized. Yeah. So I have a little adapter so that my pressure tester goes on the side. Alright, so go in, just turn the ignition into the on position, and there's no pressure there at all. So go back, again, okay I'm just going to check to see if we get any Clicking on our relay. What do you do? Yep, it's good. Again? Okay, so I can hear the relay click. Doesn't mean it's good, but I can hear the relay click. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a look and check the fuse panel. Uh, see if the fuse is good for fuel pump. So the fuse, it's a small 10 amp fuse, lower right hand side of the fuse panel and C4s. Um, never just look at them, always put them onto a meter and test them up just to make sure that it is good. They do have continuity. So this one is good, so that eliminates the fuse as being the problem. So basically the diagnosis is there's no fuel pressure. Um, what's causing it? I don't hear the pump. Oh, you don't hear the click. Okay. I can hear the click. There. But so the here, try the... Let me just, hold on, let me just open this up and see if you can actually hear the pump kick in. Go ahead. Off. Okay, on again. I do not at all Nothing. hear the pump. Okay. So the fuse is fine for the fuel pump. Um, 
the, basically for any car to run, there's three things you need air, you need gas, and you need spark. So, can the mirror's got spark? Yeah, well, well, and we, we can check the spark um, just to make sure that that's it. Basically, the way these cars work, yeah. you, the whole starting procedure for the car is you put the car into the run position, the fuel pump primes for two seconds and puts fuel into the fuel rails. And when you crank the car, as long as the oil pressure is above four pounds of pressure, it tells the electronic control module to start feeding gas and spark. And what happens is the, um, the ECU turns on the fuel pump because after two seconds, the fuel pump shuts off and then the ECU turns the fuel pump on again as you're starting the car. But it has to make sure that the engine is getting oil and all this kind of stuff before it fires up. So what ends up happening is uh, in any case, you have, if you have fuel and no oil pressure, the engine won't start. The ECU will not run the fuel pump. It will not tell to fire the injectors. It won't do anything. It needs to see four pounds. And that happens when the car is turning over, even before it starts. Um, and then once it's running, once it's, it's running, um, when the car heats up, it goes into what they call closed loop, where the uh, O2 sensor in the exhaust starts feeding in information to the electronic control module and then that controls the mixture and everything as it's running. Um, so like you said, right now there's no fuel. Right so now it doesn't seem to be so fuel. So either your tank is empty or your pump is uh, <laughs> your yeah. pump is, is pumped. Yeah, the tank I know is not empty, that's for sure. But like I said, the, the fuel gauge always works. Yeah. Unless it's just coincidence not working. I don't know. But now the the fuel pump um, if we're going with the assumption that it's the fuel pump, you can buy the fuel pumps and they're cheap. If you buy the whole sending unit, they're expensive. So the fuel pump itself is actually like a little cylinder. It looks like a um, small, uh, like a can of Coke. Something easy to replace on that? Yeah, so basically what you do is, here, we'll just three and four Torx head screws. Right. This comes out. Then this rubber boot around here pulls off of this. And the sending unit is held in by a bunch of screws. Oh, and then you just basically you remove the screws, and pull, pull it out. out. There's a gasket there, so anytime you pull it out, you should probably replace the gasket. Um, and the unit comes out, and it's probably about 18 inches long. And at the bottom of it is a cylinder thing, and that's the pump. Okay. And all you have to do is replace the pump and reconnect everything where the old pump was. And basically, um, it's not like a traditional. So, you think it's not sending signal to the pump? Could that be something? It's a possibility. So again, the option, the the since the fuse is good, and I can hear the relay clicking. It doesn't mean the relay is good, but I can hear the relay clicking. Um, so the option, the you know, there's a relay at the front, right. and that controls the pump. And so it's one of those two that's not working. If the relay doesn't work, then the so pump doesn't work. If I were to take this off, yep. I'm assuming there's there's wires. Yes. Would you, we be able to test those wires? Um, to see if it's sending signal? If we're getting a pump, we could try. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like before taking it off is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Cool. What we're going to try is we're going to remove... Um, filler area and we're going to see if we can actually test to see if electricity is going to the pump to try and prove that the relay is working. Basically what we're trying to do is see if we can get the pump 
uh, or determine whether the pump's getting electricity. Uh, if we if it does, then that means that the relay is okay. So four torques to remove the gas door. There we go. So there's the rubber boot and what we want to do is we want to remove the rubber boot to get access to the area underneath which would be the top of the sending unit and then we're going to see if we can actually uh, find out if that pump is working. So. basically what we've got is uh, this is the wiring harness and uh, we're going to see if we've got electricity now uh, one of these should be the ground one of them is, should be the electricity to run the pump and the other one is probably the signal off of the float for your gas tank so Let's see if we can... Come on. Is there? Yeah, I just don't want to end up breaking the little clip. All right, let's see if we have see if we've got some voltage going off to the pump. Okay, I'm going to go white and black. All right, turn key. Yep, 12 volts. So the relay's working. Okay. So the relay's sending uh, signal. signal down the wires to the pump. And the pump should not pump. Okay, so here's what you've got to do. So you've got these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think nine screws on the outside. This whole thing pops up. So I have to take off the hoses? Yep. So one, two, three hoses. Okay. This is the send hose. The pressurized one. This is the one that brings gas back. And this is a vent hose. Okay, okay so then you take this out. Um, Normally when you take them out, you kind of have to take them and turn them to get the mechanism out. But again, it's about yay long. Okay. And at the bottom is the pump. Um, so it's a cylinder thing. Um, okay. 
you want to put that little thing back no, in? No, so you're, you're not going to just put it in there so I don't lose it? All right. Okay, so just for fun, let's do one more pressure test to make sure that we didn't uh, accidentally fix it. <laughs> Sometimes it goes that way, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Like, it could just be a bad connection on that relay. We just jiggled it around and... Yeah. The thing you want to do um, is you might want to look at getting another gasket, replacement gasket, as well as uh, at the bottom of the sending unit is there's a filter there. It looks like a little white sock. Okay. And they're like two bucks. And every time you have it out, put on a new sock. Uh, and basically what that is, it's a, like a particle filter. So there's a on the yeah. Garbage from the bottom. Yeah, yeah it, it's one of the, like, it's kind of the first step of filtering before, long before your full filter. What we're looking at is, uh, at least it looks like, all of the uh, tests and symptoms lead to a uh, failed fuel pump. So Ross is going to pick up a fuel pump and see if that solves the problem. So just gives you a little bit of a quick uh, how-to when checking out whether or not you are running out of gas. See you next time.